I'm Chutun Bhatnagar. You are watching News X podcast. Today's shows we will be talking about PCOS, like polycystic ovary syndrome. And here with me is Rachna Gupta, co-founder Gynoveda. Hi, how are you, Rachna? Hi, Chutun. Doing very well. Thank you. So uh, I'm gonna explain some people like Gynoveda is what a women health brand that is dedicated to providing Ayurvedic solution. for menstrual and hormonal health issues so my very first question to you rashna is like what are the most prominent symptoms of pcos and like how do they affect women not just physically but mentally itself right uh first and foremost jitwan thank you for having me over it's the pcos awareness month in september and i think uh, you know extremely important for us to understand this at a fundamental level that is true when it comes to pcos which is polycystic ovarian syndrome right? hmm. uh, i think it brings along with it a lot of not just physical challenges but also yeah. emotional challenges when a woman gets diagnosed with this hmm. um, most of the common symptoms associated with pcos is uh, irregular periods okay delayed uh, menstrual cycles cycles get delayed as much as over 60 days 75 days to even 90 days hmm. in severe cases women don't even get a natural period until they have induced it uh, by way of an hormonal uh, you know stimulation yeah the other other uh, common symptom is excessive weight gain which happens in a short period of time hmm the third thing is it starts telling on their skin uh, you know there is breakouts in the form of acne or there is a skin darkening which is called as pigmentation Hmm. and in very severe cases we have seen what is called as uh, hirsutism which is nothing but okay. facial hair yeah so these are the common symptoms that is associated with pcos okay this is on the physical side okay this is uh, the physical on the one you're talking about yeah that's right that's right on the emotional side because of these uh, you know hormonal imbalance induced hmm. changes I think it brings about a lack of self confidence in women that because is there is this uh, weight gain that has happened the skin oh. which was good earlier is no longer the same uh, it also leads to a uh, lack of energy because okay. you know they are constantly worried about uh, what is going to happen will they ever be able to come out of this problem So I think lack of confidence, lack of clarity of what needs to be done, when will they get freedom from this problem, and overall not a very positive feeling uh, that women go through. And both of these need to get addressed, both the physical as well as the emotional part. That is very true. So, like my second question to you, is PCOS, according to you, leading the like cause of infertility? Yeah so I'll give you a little before I straight answer that question right I'll give you a little brief background about uh, what we have done at Gynoveda over the last 3 and 1/2 years since we started our company okay uh, like you mentioned in the introduction it's hmm. clearly an Ayurveda healthcare company right. focusing on women's health hmm. and specifically on menstrual and reproductive health uh, so obviously at the core of it is the problem which is PCOS that we have taken upon ourselves to solve the problem from the root cause yes and so far we have uh, treated more than 2 lakh women who had pcos for more than 5 to 7 to 10 years okay uh, and what we have seen is uh, especially with women who are in the reproductive age hmm. which is the age group of uh, 28 to a 35 there women with pcos are finding it difficult to conceive hmm. uh, and the reason being that because there are cysts in the ovaries Uh, the natural process of ovulation is not achieved and because ovulation does not happen on time uh, it also affects in ayurveda we call the egg as ovum it also affects the egg growth development and the quality of the egg that is required to be ruptured at a certain time for conception to happen hmm. that gets affected Uh, so yes i would say today uh, you know with one in five women in india getting impacted with pcos it's okay. definitely one of the top two reasons hmm. uh, for women finding it difficult to conceive and for infertility exactly that is true like uh, many people are facing right now why why people are facing pcos only like there are many symptoms yeah. 
people are facing yeah. but great question. yeah in uh, and i'll talk about from the ayurveda life yeah. science right like well we know that uh, it's 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 everywhere out there stated that pcos is in hormonal imbalance exactly. or pcos is a lifestyle disorder huh. uh, when it comes to how ayurveda understands pcos we look at it because of excessive toxins which is called as ama okay uh, which is caused in our body and these toxins get accumulated because of uh, obviously uh, you know our faulty or rather the unhealthy not faulty really mm. but the unhealthy dietary habits that we follow yeah uh, a lot of uh, young women we recently did a survey the largest period health survey in india and we found that 60% of women uh, in the age group of 25 to 34 were diagnosed with pcos okay. and it's also to do with the fact that obviously they are working women uh, you know they end up staying back late in office mm-hmm. there could be there is disturbances with respect to eating time in the office that's right they yeah. are most stressed uh, they end up sleeping late at night True. so because of all of these things i think uh, the excessive accumulation of toxins in the body mm-hmm. is what is the primary cause of uh, pcos so what happens is because there is toxins the the toxins through the blood stream they mm-hmm. also reach the reproductive organs and once it has entered into the ovaries uh, you have multiple cysts and polycysts poly means many many cysts get created inside the ovaries and that is called as pcos and so when it comes to even the treatment and solution hmm. ayurveda focuses on detoxification okay. focuses on making sure that the digestive and the metabolism of a woman is better and hmm. through that then the polycystic recovery is possible exactly so my next question to you it's like one in every five women today has pcos would you consider that this is a silent epidemic in india absolutely okay. and i think uh, that statistic is obviously what was known to us hmm. what happened at gynoveda by virtue of the largest period health survey that we've done across 3 lakh women Uh, no other company has in india been able to bring out this kind of a survey and in that very clearly a staggering 54% of women uh, had pcos so the largest menstrual disorder today in not just in india but across the world hmm. is pcos or what is known as pcod and uh, we spoke about the symptoms sometimes okay. earlier okay. so it's very important to understand this entire problem in detail mm. and then look at what is the solution and in all my interactions with women i i tell a lot of because there are you know young women who are affected with this problem mm. i always tell them that it's not a disease mm. it's a disorder and uh, you know anything which goes out of order is a disorder which is similar to pcos so it can definitely come back on track it can definitely re- it can be reversed all it needs is uh, the right medication the right mm. diet and lots of positivity and patience that is totally true you are talking about my next question to you rashna that uh, to what extent is pcos like reversible 100% right and it might be it might come across as shocking to um, you know women who are watching this or our viewers but mm-hmm. this is backed by data okay and at gynoveda we've had some astonishing results that we feel has been a breakthrough uh, in the medicine ayurvedic medicine system for mm-hmm. reversing pcos and when i say i'm backing this by data um, so we've had a clinical study okay. uh, that we did about 190 women and an independent clinical study that has recently got published in the european journal of pharmaceutical and medical research and uh, at that point of time these 190 women are all moderate to severe cases of pcos which means they've been you know battling with pcos for anywhere more than 5 years to 10 years and more hmm. and what was happening to see was not just their symptoms getting reversed but the most difficult part which is the cysts in the ovaries that got completely dissolved 76% women were reported to have their cysts dissolution happening 
post six months consumption of the Ayurvedic medicines. Now, more than 78% women got their periods back, which means their periods became regular without any hormonal medicines, any hormonal injections within 60 days of consumption. Almost 80% women saw a reduction in their weight or weight control. Um, so we've had uh, fabulous results. In fact, we have uh, uh, proof where women have shown on screen their pelvic sonography report, which is called as a pelvic USG, uh, which shows what was the size of their ovary and how bulky it was, Chitwan, uh, okay. when they were diagnosed with PCOS okay. and the size of the cysts. And uh, post six to eight months of uh, medicine and the Ayurvedic treatment, hmm. their cysts have been completely dissolved. So for us, that has truly been a breakthrough. And you know, one clear message to all the women who have PCOS is uh, it can 100% be reversed. And you don't have to live with the problem. You don't have to manage the problem. Uh, you just have to take control, take charge and treat the problem. Oh, wow, very nice. So my next question to you is Ayurveda a side effect, free root cure for hormonal disorder? Yeah, so it is absolutely a side effect free uh, line of treatment. In fact, we always say this, ki no side effects, only side benefits. Uh, you have to remember that Ayurveda is and our medicines are 100% natural made with pure and potent Ayurvedic herbs. In fact, if you go onto our website on the PCOS page, you will see the list of 44 Ayurvedic herbs which are mentioned there. Okay. Herbs like Shatavri, uh, herbs like Dashmul, Varuna, Aloe Vera, um, uh, Shilajit or Kanchanar. Kanchanar absolutely potent for cyst dissolution, does not have any preservatives, does not have any chemicals. So yes, it is an absolutely side effect free uh, treatment plan and what it does inside your body is it does not just get you reversal from PCOS but when I spoke about side benefits Chitman, we've had women who've reported amazing energy levels uh, within two to three months. Uh, there has also been you know great uh, quality of skin and hair and I think most important, which is not visible to us is um, what Ayurvedic herbs do is they improve the immunity of your reproductive system. Okay. So it's so that even once you come out of PCOS, let's say you go back to your earlier lifestyle, hmm. uh, you should still not be affected by PCOS. So it, you know, when we talk about immunity, that's the beauty of uh, the Ayurvedic medicine system. Wow, very nice. So Gaina Veda is going to provide every single thing that a woman needs. Yes, yes, it's a promise. Yes. Every yes. woman's health matters. Yeah, that is true. So my last, I don't want to leave you right now, but it's my last question to you. So how is Gaina Veda fighting this battle and what is the success rate right now? Super. So we are currently at a success rate of about uh, 75 to an 80 percent hmm. which means that if 10 women come to us eight eight women get complete freedom from pcs okay. maybe in about two to three cases we are not able to solve the problem and it is a combination of two things right hmm. one is that the woman may not have only pcos but she may also have other complications or disorders and then it becomes very difficult to treat all of it in a certain span of time. Hmm. The other thing is that uh, because Ayurveda takes time and we say this Samara nara hai jaldi nahi jad se. Oh. Uh, so if you're expecting short term results, if you're expecting overnight some miracle to happen, unfortunately Ayurveda cannot do that for you and which is why women, young women especially, you know, they don't have the patience uh, and they tend to move out. But women who are determined to reverse their PCOS, are determined to get freedom from PCOS. We've got 80% success rate with these women. Mm -hmm. And the way we do it is actually through a, we call it a 3x Ayurvedic program. So the first one is, like I mentioned, a combination of 44 Ayurvedic herbs. These are medicines to be consumed on a daily basis for six to nine months. Mm -hmm. The second thing is we provide them unlimited doctor support. 
um, so they can reach out to us through chat, through email, uh, through call. Uh, we've built the largest Facebook community called Circle of Sisterhood, which has me and my entire doctor team responding to women's queries almost like 24 by 7. Uh, so it's it's the the same kind of support and hand holding that women expect in their health journey. Mm -hmm. uh, and the third thing is what we call as a gynovedic diet. Uh, okay. These are some healthy habits and guidelines for leading a healthy life. So by a combination of these three things, uh, we've been at the forefront of this mission of getting women freedom from PCOS. And happy to report, like I mentioned earlier, that we are at an 75 to 80% success rate and we are only getting better. Very nice. Good to hear that, that women is achieving their goals also and plus women is achieving their health goal also at the same yes. time. So this is a lovely conversation which we are having right now. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and be a part of this conversation. Get candid with Chitran Music. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chitwan, for having me over.